Welcome back. We're writing Little Man Computer in C++ and we've finished most of the assembler uh, with the exception of uh, tokenizing the, the input strings uh, into the uh, relevant uh, label uh, code and address uh, strings and stripping off any uh, blank lines and comments and so forth. So we'll move on to that uh, that today, but I did just spot a couple of things that I'd like to tidy up. One was in our assembler, I think, down here, uh, where uh, looping through the uh, the set of instructions, but uh, we're doing it by index, and the only point of using the index is to uh, extract the instruction here. So I think we can do something a bit uh, a bit simpler here and do something I think this is the, the syntax it's something along those lines. Uh, we can we can check that in a moment and, and just simplify it down to this. Uh, we will check if that's the right syntax or if I've just uh, made something silly up. Uh, that looks uh, to have compiled uh, successfully. Um, we can't do it in uh, our extraction of the label, um, the label uh, addresses uh, above here, um, because we're also using the index uh, as our as our address value here. But uh, I did just spot that and save this a line, line of code and just looks that a little bit simpler there. So if we uh, just check that, yes, yeah, so we can commit that, um, convert uh, for like two for each essentially. Uh, that's fine. The other thing I wanted to do is just to uh, is just to get rid of this uh, this adder uh, test that we've we've created here, as it's not really doing anything useful, and we're not going to keep it around in the long in the long term. So uh, we might as well get rid of it now, just to clean things up a little bit. Uh, we can also get rid of it uh, here and here. That goes away there as well. I think that's everything. That looks okay, doesn't it? And uh, also in tucked away in the in the git ignore file as well. We can get rid of it there. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing there. Uh, so what does that look like? We have a deleted does get and dot do what I what I want it to do. <laughs> do, do add removed things. Uh, that is the question. You do indeed. Uh, very strange. I don't think I need the di the hyphen a there, but I'll uh, I'll keep it in there anyway. That just uh, just simplifies things uh, down a little bit um, before we before we move on. Okay, so we can go back here and we can uh, we can extract our tests and we want to continue in the assembler, do we? Are we going to be continuing in in the assembler? So assemble here. Yeah, so this is part of the assembler. So we're going to need to do something that takes uh, some, for to, some form of uh, list of strings and create and returns a uh, a list of uh, vector of instructions. Uh, the question is, what does that, what does that look like? I suspect we want to take some form of iStream. 
Um, that's uh, going to eventually come from a file, but that we could also have a, a string variant of, uh, assuming I have any internet to look at the reference. I think the reference is just low here. Does it tell us uh, I stream ice? So we'll have an ice. We, I guess we're in the test. We can fake some sort of ice string stream. Um, does this tell us uh, what, what the concrete implementations are? Perhaps we search for something like reading lines from a file and then we'll see what we can do. It's going to use an IF stream, which I'm assuming is uh, a subclass of, of I stream. So we're going to make an IF stream like that. And line-based parsing uses string streams, like so. I suspect this is going to require a little bit of a, a little bit of tinkering to get to the right thing. Let, let's start by writing, writing the kind of uh, basic shape that we want to get to. So. We want to, um, so uh, we, we could split this into two halves. We could, um, we could break this into something that, in, an initial part that uh, splits a string of the relevant format into an instruction. But is that going a little bit too far or not? That, that is the question. Mm. I think I think I want to do that because I, I'm not entirely sure how to proceed in in, in as a whole. Um, and we can always later on, um, as I think I'm going to do in a number of cases, uh, uh, adjust our tests or delete a, a section of tests that uh, are currently using uh, exposed API that we would prefer to be private. Uh, so for example, uh, at the top here where, where we're going through and um, and we are doing the, the, the separate steps of assembling uh, a program uh, and looking inside, I'd kind of like that to be um, hidden away from the public API. And so we might change some of those tests later uh, so that it's not necessary to see inside uh, the assembler class to, to quite the same level of detail. And in fact, we might go all the way as far as uh, taking uh, an input stream and returning uh, an assembled program and not seeing any of the work that we've done so far on the public API. Um, but, we, but we'll see. Uh, for now, uh, I feel I can see where where we want to get to on a single um, on a single instruction. So, how, can we do hmm, how does equality work on instructions? Assert r equal. What I, what I what I kind of want to say is um, expected instruction and instruction like so, and then what we'll have is we'll have uh, an instruction called expected instruction. And I don't know whether we can quite do this or not, whether whether it, it's allowed, um, but. I kind of want to do something like that. Uh, 
and say um, instruction equals uh, parse instruction that takes um, now if we if we have a look down here we'll see this sort of formation here uh, where the the width of the line is somewhat variable um, we'll assume that uh, that we've already stripped off comments and removed black blank lines at this stage uh, and so what we'll have is essentially something that looks like that uh, in its most simple form which uh, we would want to be converted to this um, that's not going to work either we want to say assembler dot and we want to create an assembler So something something to that effect, and if we if we run the tests or if we make it will uh, complain about the missing uh, API that we want. So that's relatively straightforward. We can uh, I don't know which way around it. This is the one. Yep. We can then say uh, instruction. Um, Parse instruction, wasn't it? Uh, and a string instruction string like so. That probably wants to be constant because we aren't modifying it at this stage. I think we'll then notice that we're also missing an implementation. Ah, okay, yes. So we're asserting equality on something that doesn't have a proper equality can uh, check. Mm, how are we going to do that? So we have assert our equal like so. Can we just make that a template? method that is the question what I'd like to do uh, for now is get to the simplest possible pass though and then we can start worrying about that kind of thing so let's make this this and see if it lets that through I'm hoping that that is just an issue. Oh no, that's an equality failure. Yeah, that's a nuisance. Mm, we can we can we can kind of cheat here uh, and just do it explicitly. A little bit more verbose than I'd like. I was hoping we could get a an equality for free, but uh, I don't really want to go messing uh, with the internals of instruction at the moment uh, which we we could do um, uh, but we can just do this for now and see what that gets us to we'll see what this uh, this complaint is now oh, that's just a doesn't have some sort of uh, implementation of that. I'm going to be particularly lazy here. And just do this. Uh, we'll deal later if we feel like it with uh, something more specific in the error messages. But for now uh, that will get us to a state where we have passing or failing test. Now I think this is the genuine failure we were expecting to get to. Um, and it's because we don't have the relevant implementation. No, that was uh, not 
the result we were looking for. We we're actually looking for that. Pass instruction with const string instruction string. And I think that's going to require a couple of things. We'll need an instruction. Like so for it to parse, and we'll probably want to say for now this. And hopefully that will just fail, um, but in a sensible manner. And then we can give the test a name and we can make it pass straightforwardly just by returning uh, the expected value. Yep, that looks good. So If we go to our test now, which is here, and we can say um, instruction with only halt instruction with no label or address. Um, I want to say it's correctly parsed, but that's not uh, really the, the right thing to say because that doesn't tell us what it's supposed to be parsed as. But I'm going to I'm going to put that in for now uh, and then forget to uh, to change it later uh, until we come back and do some sort of re review of the test names again. Uh, but it gets us to uh, to the state we want to be in with a named failing test. So that's good. So we should be able to um, we should be able to make this pass just by doing this in principle, which would be nice. And hopefully that will, uh, there we go. So we've got to a pass there. So the next test, uh, we want to be uh, some sort of different uh, instruction. So if we make this that, That should uh, fail again because we're returning a hard coded to value. And then we want to do, yeah, we want to do something, the simplest thing that gets us to this passing, which would be. Mm, Oh, that's an interesting quandary, isn't it? <laughs> I, I want to say something like that. This is horrible, uh, but it passes. Um, I think it passes. Um, and if it does, then at least we can we can move forward through the tests and perhaps find a better way of um, of dealing with it. <laughs> it does. So can we uh, refactor that to that to something a little bit nicer? Uh, C++ split split string on white space is essentially what we want to do. What suggestions do people have? Mm. Split. Is split a real thing? That would be lovely. Uh, 
So you can do that. Hmm. The question is, can we do it on variable amounts of white space? On amount of white space. Having a string with a variable, varying number of white space characters in, oh, this is C. I mean, we can do it in in the exceptionally low level way of doing it. Um, so does Stratoc do? That's the kind of thing I was thinking of in the first place. But um, I'm not sure that quite uh, is quite the right thing. Yeah, that's splits on any of these characters. Um, I get them there. Maybe we can. Maybe we can just uh, use the standard split initially, and see where that gets us, um, because uh, it it will it will technically pass the test for now. So, string delimiter and whatever that that does. Oh, they've, have they <laughs> they've created some sort of custom split? Uh, some sort of custom split there. That's uh, a nuisance. Uh, split C plus plus and see if there's some. Yeah. Hmm, no, it doesn't. Yeah, using boosty things. How to split a string in C. Well, that's clearly what we want to do. But whether that's a nice a nice mechanism for doing it. We might end up having to having to go a little a little manual here and, and just just do it by hand. Um, that's not ideal um, because we're not because we're dealing with strings here, not uh, because we're dealing with strings and uh, does get line do what we want? That is the question. Hmm. And this is very, very messy here. I'm doing that. Using boost split. Using what's that all about? Depends when this article was written as to if this is a good thing or not. There's not a uh, proposing STD split. See, I thought that was a that was a thing. I can do STD experimental split if that's got a nice API. We shall at least uh, at least see what that does. Input. Oh no 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 no. That's not. Uh, that's not really what we're after, is it? Code review. Someone going to say, why didn't you do it this way? Hmm. Some. Why not return that? They, they might indeed ask that, but uh, I'm not going to for now. Yeah, it's nothing particularly nice. I might just uh, steal some sort of uh, 
some sort of split split mechanism like so. So let's let's assume we can do something like that and say uh, we've got a vector of string called uh, tokens, something like that. Uh, then we have uh, split the instruction string. Is that a character? The delimiter that is a little bit of a pain, but it's fine for now. We'll split it on that and then uh, back inserter. Is that the right thing? With tokens. Let's see if that at least compiles uh, or if we're missing something important. Uh, no member name split. Uh, so that probably requires us to. No, we're including string. So we need to include something else. Iterator, maybe? That will at least uh, no member name split. So it's not iterator. What was the other one? S stream. Nope. Hmm. What is split here? Oh, if we. Oh, has it done? It's done a. A multi-pass thing here. So we're doing it this way. So we've got a string stream and we're taking an an out result. Oh this is not nice, is it? It's getting very silly. So we can we can convert A lot of work in refactoring here. So, uh, what's string stream? Is it just called string stream? String stream. Is it that way? Instruction string. And then we have an item. And then we have while some sort of get line. With our string stream, our item, and our delimiter, then we can uh, do that. Didn't quite do what I was anticipating. Oh, that's why. Because of that. And then, ooh, undo. And then we need somewhere to put that. So we need a vector of string called tokens again is fine. And then tokens dot push back item. Assuming that is okay. We will see. So let's see if that builds or if we're missing some sort of inclusion of something. Oh hello. <laughs> Have we we've broken something that was working. That was working. So what if I delete that? That's uh, intriguing. Let's put all of this back and get back to a working state before we continue messing around. So that's okay. And then we'll see uh We'll see how, how far we can get. I'm going to assume that vector is okay. I'll just do the make because there's no point running the tests yet. So that is missing a string stream. So I think from what I was reading earlier, 
Let's be explicit and see if that works. That might not exist as a thing. Nope, so it is just S stream. But if I do that, we lose the ability to call all of, which is slightly odd, isn't it? I do not know why. I don't like that. That is very confusing. Ah, uh, is string stream not? No, no, string stream is on STD. String, vector, iterator. String map vector. Don't know what all of comes from. Hmm. There was some sort of uh, suggestion that it was from algorithm. So do I need to, to include algorithm? No, that hasn't fixed it either. Ah, couldn't infer template. So we've broken something else somewhere. <laughs> how, uh, how inconvenient. What if I were to put it there? This is not nice. Starting to drift a bit here. Oh, that's very disturbing. That is, uh, <laughs> that is an uncomfortable situation to be in. Uh, that we've we've got some strange formulation here to make this pass. Let us get back to here and see what that left us with. There was uh, an issue, I think. No, that's okay. So we've got a very odd behavior where if we include S stream earlier, we get something odd happening. Uh, can I do, or is this uh, not allowed because it's not a runtime constant? That. Well, yeah, that's, that may not may not compile. Oh no, no, it's uh, it's happy for that to be a parameter. The question is, do the test pass? They do. That's uh, interesting. So we can do that. Not uh, particularly nice. Uh, but it passes. What I would like to do is I would like to extract uh, some sort of split uh, function from that in, as a as a refactoring of that, which takes a string and returns the vector of tokens. So if I delete that and do that and return tokens. Uh, is that allowed? Tokens equals uh, split instruction string. That would be a little nicer, at least. And uh, we'll get a, get us to something a bit more readable and a place where we can play. Uh, with issues. That looks good, doesn't it? So we have a, a, a slightly unfortunate split method there, uh, but we have uh, 
a nice uh, mechanism for dealing with things here. Um, what I would like to do is to add a couple more tests for with label. and no address and then see what that does so we want to say this and that should be relatively straightforward to pass and then we can do the same uh, we can do the same with an, uh, something with an address and see what that uh, gets us to and then uh, we'll be able to to move to uh, being more flexible on white space I suspect um, so that we should be able to just make that pass by saying token zero I hope And if that works, we should be able to do something similar for the address. And then we'll be in a, a pretty nice place to continue. Good. So let's uh, yank that out. And we can say uh, load instruction with no label. But address is currently passed, and then we'll have this I think that's what we're after. That should fail. Excuse me. In a, in a sensible manner. And we should be able to make that pass relatively easily. And then we'll be uh, be in good shape. So, have I taken too much off? I have. That hopefully will pass. Oh no, I've, uh, oh, I've used the wrong, uh, wrong character there. Just a simple typo. That looks uh, looks nice and straightforward, doesn't it? And then we'll be uh, we'll be left with the question of how to deal with uh, with multiple white space characters. So I think we're okay now. Um, yeah, I'm I'm going to leave that uh, there for now and commit those changes. As instruction with single space between parts, and we'll uh, we'll expand upon that next time.